Situated inside what was once the Wapping Hydraulic Power Station is East London's restaurant come art space, the Wapping Project. So this former power station turned restaurant and gallery provides one of the most striking settings for a meal in London. The Wapping project has made a real feature of its inheritance, with much of the original machinery, equipment and features being wonderfully preserved, from the pressure pipes, rusty chains, huge hooks, all blending in side by side with modern dining furniture. Diners are seated next to the hydraulic machinery and the menu selection is just as unconventional as the surroundings. If you're open-minded about food and quite experimental or you just want something slightly different from your usual restaurant, then this is definitely the place for you. The menu is varied and changes on a regular basis and you can enjoy a creative range of dishes varying from things like octopus labne, lemon confit and coriander, to ox heart, tomato and celery and radish and you've also got in there your blue goat's cheese and your cob nuts. Yeah, I've just walked through the doors, it's incredible, massive sort of spacious rooms, it's really exciting, it's completely different sort of a restaurant that you'd normally see in London. What used to be the engine and turbine halls on the main ground floor now house the restaurant and you'll find a gallery in the former boiler and filler houses which now provide a dramatic exhibition and performance space. What happened was that the WPT, the Women's Playhouse Trust, they had a building in Islington and this came onto the scene through the London Docklands Development Corporation. And so Jules, who runs the WPT, she decided that the building in Islington should be sold and she should try and buy this. And to make the WPT work, they needed an income stream. And so this hydraulic power station, which is one, in five, one of five in London, was uh, chosen as her, her place to be in London. That's an acre site in the middle of London. What could be better? An industrial building, very gritty, converted into a restaurant. Well, I like it very much. I mean, I think what's obviously most striking about it, which of course we all know, is that it was one of the first um, industrial conversions in London, genuinely ahead of the game. I mean, Tate Modern came in, I think, in 99, 2000, and of course the Wapping Project had been up for almost a decade by then. So, incredibly striking interior, I mean, very good food, but I think it's that dynamic between a kind of the intimacy of a restaurant with a much larger industrial space. Now, they really were ahead of the game on, on that, I think not, not only in London terms, and for this part of, part of London, but also internationally. And of course, we should also remember that there's a whole art side to the project, which you know, is not the case with most restaurants, however dramatic and uh, however good the cuisine. Here we've got a, you know, another dynamic going on, another tension, a creative tension with the art space, which is funded entirely out of the restaurant receipts. So with no Arts Council funding, no um, state subsidy, uh, Jules Wright, the proprietor, has created this international arts programme over the last 20 years, which it sets its own agenda, as well as obviously the restaurant setting its own agenda in its, in its terrain. So I think, you know, very, very interesting, very unique, singular venue for London and internationally. The gallery features newly commissioned works by visual artists, photographers, choreographers, writers and filmmakers. If you like creatively transformed places, a bit of art and an unusual dining experience, the Wapping Project is well worth the visit. The spectacular setting and ambiance alone makes this trek off the beaten track well worth it.